building and flying a homemade helicopter is perhaps the worst idea someone could possibly have. A simple mistake in design or build quality can have disastrous consequences. So let's take a look at 15 homemade helicopters people have actually flown. Number 15, Rotorway Scorpion II. B.J. Schramm was an engineer and a designer who, in the 1960s, set out to create a series of helicopters that an average person could fly, selling for less than $10,000. So when he went ahead and created his Javelin model for Rotorway, a funky-looking retro-futuristic single-seater model powered by a humble 40-horsepower motorcycle engine, but this Javelin would pave the way for a better model, the Rotorway Scorpion, and again with the Scorpion II in 1974. The Scorpion II was another two-seater, but this time was packing a two-cycle OMC 125 horsepower engine and was the first model to use an engine designed by the company. But it wasn't perfect, because they quickly learned that the two-cycle engine caused too much vibration in the craft, which would often lead to all sorts of internal issues like cracks in the metal parts. But in its heyday, the Rotorway Scorpion II had a service ceiling of about 10,000 feet and a cruising speed of 75 miles an hour, and could crank it up to a maximum of 100 miles per hour. It may not be the greatest personal helicopter, but it certainly set the stage for what could be achieved in the future. Number 14, Commuter 2. Back in the 1970s, Harold Pop M.I., the man who created the design for the single-seat helicopter, the Helicom, upped the ante when he went ahead and developed the two-seater Commuter 2. They were 22 feet long and only 8 feet tall, making it one of the best helicopter models for the everyday person to own and store if they had a little extra space. His Commuter 2 quickly became one of the more popular two-seaters of its time, with more than solid engineering, Lycoming engines, and a shaft-driven motor that made handling easier than most of what had come before, and it wasn't terribly difficult to assemble either. The Commuter II had a high service ceiling of 11,000 feet, and with its 150 horsepower engine, could fly at a maximum speed of 100 miles an hour, but kept things cool with its 70 mile an hour cruise speed. Number 13, Safari 400. If you've got about 500 hours to kill, then why not go ahead and build yourself a little Safari 400? Now, this thing is a DIY helicopter kit that can be sent right to your house, and it's the perfect summer project for the backyard or even garage if it's big enough. The Safari 400 comes with a reliable and solid power unit that's better than that of many basic fixed-wing aircraft. And because helicopters don't have a great glide ratio, you need an engine that you can count on, which is why the Safari 400 comes with a Lycoming 0360 engine with 180 horsepower, giving it a top speed of 100 miles an hour and even a top cruising speed of about 85 miles an hour. Just imagine racing one of these things down to the grocery store. But in terms of a backyard aircraft, this helicopter is awesome, and the 400 model has about two and a half hours worth of fuel and has an amazing service ceiling of 10,000 feet. The cost for having the Safari 400 kit sent over to you is just over $140,000. That may be expensive, but being able to put your helicopter together in the backyard is priceless. Number 12, A600 Turbo. Another helicopter kit to make you the owner of the neighborhood skies is the A600 Turbo. And you better believe that this thing does in fact go turbo. The A600 is the more advanced version of its predecessors, and its exhaust and intake have been revamped, and the all-new turbo system gives this bird 168 horsepower. The A600 has a nice cruise speed of 95 miles an hour, and the new and improved vertical stabilizer for the tail helps the pilot fly in as straight a line as a small personal helicopter can go. But when you push the pedal to the metal of this DIY model, you can reach a top speed of 115 miles an hour with a service ceiling of 11,500 feet. But things can get even cooler when you start to put the interior together, because the kit also comes with an MGL electronic flight instrument system, a dual electronic system, fully automated engine controls, and the most important part, the leather seats. The A600 Turbo can run about 100 grand, which isn't such a bad deal, considering it's one of the better options of kits out there. Number 11, XEL Composite FX. Okay, so it's not exactly a wise decision, but you can technically pilot a helicopter without a license. Even if you get caught, you can look forward to hefty fines and maybe even a little time behind bars. But the XEL is one of the very few helicopter kits that you can put together and then fly without needing a pilot's license. 
The XEL is an ultralight helicopter designed to fall under the FAA regulations so it can be flown by anyone without totally skimping on safety. So as long as you're in the comfort of your backyard, then who is really going to stop you? The ultralight XEL kit comes with a top-notch piston-powered engine that lets the pilot fly for 45 minutes at a time, with a cruising speed of about 62 miles an hour. It's the perfect little DIY helicopter for people who want to know what it's like to fly, but just not too high. It even comes with floats, so you can take her down to the lake and get a little rest and relaxation in there. And the kit is the cheapest on the list so far, at just $41,000. Number 10. HeliCycle HeliCycle Ventures is a trusted company operating out of New Mexico, producing solid and modern small helicopters. And one of their more popular models is the HeliCycle, that's been turning heads since 1997. Nowadays, they offer a kit for the sixth generation of the HeliCycle model that's designed to fly well and just be downright fun. The kit is a single-seater powered by the T-63 T-32 engine with 100 horsepower that allows it to reach a top speed of 110 miles an hour and can go 150 miles before you start to run on empty. This helicopter can accommodate a pilot up to 220 pounds, so if you're a little on the bigger side but still want to take to the skies, then this may be a great option for you. The kit takes about 400 to 600 hours to complete, so make sure you set aside enough time on the weekend to take a crack at it. And when all is said and done, the nice people from the manufacturer will send someone over to make sure that it's flight ready and the builder hasn't made any errors. I guess it is always best to be on the safe side. There's also some awesome avionics and electrical systems in the kit, and of course, the all-important radio. Number 9. Hungaro Copter Another awesome little helicopter kit that's perfect for the amateur or backyard pilot is the Hungarocopter. A Hungarian company, Hungaro, is designed to comply with European micro-light aircraft rules, but who's going to know when you're flying this around your property? The Hungarocopter is a single-seater with either an enclosed cockpit with a flaring or an open cockpit with a windshield if you live somewhere with a warmer climate. The kit also comes with a single main rotor and tail rotor, a skid landline gear, a four-cylinder, four-stroke, 135-horsepower automotive engine that will give the rider a gentle cruising speed of 81 miles an hour. Hungaro has also said that it shouldn't take more than 300 hours to put their copter kit together, which, all things considered, that's not too long. Number 8. Mosquito Ultralight if you've got about 20 grand lying around and nothing to do for the next 200 hours, then consider putting together your own Mosquito Ultralight. It's a great minimalist model that doesn't take up too much space, and it's a pretty low-maintenance aircraft and a great choice if you need to get from one end of the ranch to the other in a pinch. This Mosquito model can only carry about 12 gallons of fuel at a time, but will give you a good range of around 150 miles. The only real catch here is that this little homemade helicopter isn't much more of an exposed seat and a rotor, so while it's incredibly accessible, it may not be for the faint of heart. Number 7. Hummingbird 300L Finally, a household helicopter for the whole family. Vertical Technologies is the only kit manufacturer with a four-seat helicopter option with their Hummingbird 300L, which means a little more money and a lot more assembly time. The Hummingbird 300L is actually pretty cool and substantial, coming with two baggage areas under the two front seats so you could theoretically take this helicopter to your vacation house without having to worry about all the holiday traffic. The cabin is made with composite panels to keep the chopper lightweight and are prefabricated in the factory, so all you have to do is install them and paint them whatever color you want. This thing comes with a six-cylinder fuel-injected Continental Titan 300-horsepower piston engine that's strong enough to lift almost a 1,000 pounds and fly at max speed of 105 miles an hour with a range of 430 miles. It really is the souped-up version of a minivan in the sky. This kit also comes with a heftier price tag, though, at $227,000. Number 6. Air Scooter Coaxial Personal Helicopter your average helicopter design is cool, but sometimes you need something a little more abstract. Something like the Air Scooter Coaxial Personal Helicopter. And while this home helicopter may look like a novelty, it still functions pretty well on its own. Brought to buyers by the Nevada-based Air Scooter Corporation, the Coaxial Personal Helicopter has a four-stroke aero twin engine and totally ditches the swashplates and tail rotor making it better suited for short hops around town with a total flight time of about two hours. 
The coaxial helicopter controls are where this thing really shines because it comes with handlebars that make it steer more like a motorcycle. So to gain altitude, all the pilot has to do is turn up the throttle like they would with a motorcycle and move the handlebars from left to right, and even sometimes like a joystick and is said to provide the pilot with a little more stability. And with this model, there's no need for pedal controls, meaning it's a little more friendly for different body types. But the icing on the cake here is the floats on the bottom, meaning you can ride from your backyard to the lake and then back home again at a top speed of about 64 miles an hour. Number 5. Dragonfly DF-1 When you're putting together your own backyard helicopter, you can get as crafty as you want, and there aren't really any rules or regulations to hold you back your property, your rules, and that's exactly what one person said when they built their Dragonfly DF-1. The Dragonfly DF-1 may be intimidating considering it's a rocket-powered one-seat helicopter with an open cockpit, but it's surprisingly pretty mellow for something of that sort. That's because it's got two hydrogen peroxide motors mounted on the tip of the rotor, and even though the engines of this aircraft are small, this thing will still get you up to 115 miles per hour if you really crank it with each engine having the equivalent of 102 horsepower. And the exhaust of the Dragonfly DF-1 puts out just water vapor. But the hydrogen peroxide powering this rocket helicopter isn't the same stuff that you'd find under the sink. Instead, the pilot uses a commercial-grade diluted formula. The only real catch here is that the Dragonfly DF-1 can only fly for about 90 minutes at a time, and the special fuel is four bucks a gallon. So it's not the cheapest option out there, but it's certainly one of the most unique. Number 4. AW95 Choppy Another single-seat, open-cockpit, small-time helicopter to grace our list is the AW95 Choppy. This is an improved iteration of the Adams-Wilson hobbycopter design that's been around since the 1950s, so people have been building their own backyard aircraft for a pretty long time. The original idea here was not to sell the helicopters, but instead sell the designs. So now the manufacturing and assembly of the entire helicopter rests on the shoulders of the owner, and the AW95 holds on to that idea today. So while it may be an arduous process to put this thing together, it's also the cheapest way to build and own a helicopter. So with this iteration of the choppy, the swash plate and skid landing gear were brought up to date to make the building process easier, and any obsolete components and materials were either replaced with newer ones or just scrapped altogether. As you can see, the AW95 is pretty bare bones and daintily a basic helicopter, but it gets the job done. And at just 15 feet long from nose to tail, it doesn't take up much more space than your average car. Number 3. Aeros Another solid home-built helicopter choice back in the day was the Aeros. A single-seater, the Aeros can be put together by anyone with a well-equipped shop. And so while that may not be everybody, it certainly is possible. The Eros has a bolt-together frame and a standard helicopter control system, so a full collective with a twist grip throttle much like that of a motorcycle, and a full cyclic and foot-operated tail rotor pedals. But what makes the Eros a standout is the engine. To keep the cost low but without forgetting about aircraft reliability, the Eros's drivetrain uses a converted Volkswagen car engine, and the primary belt drive leading to the transmission uses the VW gears as well. Technically speaking, the Aero was built as an experimental aircraft, but it worked just as well and looked pretty damn cool, too. And all of that horsepower meant that the pilot was taking the awesome Aeros for a spin at 85 miles an hour at 12,000 feet up. Number 2. Vortec Skylark Produced by the Maryland-based Vortec, the Skylark is their design for an amateur construction. The Skylark is another helicopter that's considered to be an experimental aircraft, and maybe with its funky and bare-bones look, it's not hard to see why. The Skylark comes with a single main rotor and a single-seat open cockpit that totally forgoes the windshield, and since it can pick up a maximum speed of about 95 miles an hour, you may want to wear some heavy-duty goggles to keep all of those bugs out of your eyes. The homemade helicopter also has a skid-type landing gear and a twin-cylinder carbureted 70-horsepower Hurt 3503 aircraft engine to help the pilot push the pedal to the metal. This DIY aircraft is about 17 feet long from nose to tail, again about the size of plenty of popular cars, and is made from welded steel tubing. 
The manufacturer will tell you that all in all, it should take about 300 hours to put together your Vortex Skylark. And while that may seem like ages, it's totally worth it because this homemade helicopter has a great range of 120 miles before you need to refill that tank. Number 1. Volocopter VC-2 It's safe to say that the final entry on our list of homemade helicopters is absolutely insane. But it works. Volocopter is a German aircraft manufacturer that designs personal air vehicles, specifically their electric multi-rotor helicopters. But it's their VC-2 that's absolutely crazy. The VC-2 is a single-seat multi-rotor helicopter that made its first experimental remote-controlled flight in 2013. The entire rig is made of an aluminum truss frame that includes the center-mounted seat, the battery, battery management unit, and the obvious 18 engines suspended around the frame. And if it looks too good to be true, you're wrong, because the Volocopter VC-2 had its first man test in 2016. And sure, the VC-2 looks absolutely ridiculous, but it does work. The aircraft is controlled with a joystick and can reach a maximum speed of 100 miles an hour with a service ceiling of 6,500 feet. But just make sure that you come in easy for the landing, because the VC-2 has completely foregone your traditional landing gear for three Pilates balls. And even if one of the 18 propellers somehow fails during flight, the VC-2 can still maintain stability with the remaining rotors. The folks at Volocopter have said that the VC-2 has made 1,000 successful flights since 2019. But while we may not see these parts sold for home assembly just yet, this could easily be one of the coolest homemade helicopters of all time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.